live in Nashville by way of uh, Sudan and a little bit of time in Ethiopia, a little bit of time in Kenya. Uh, but they've been here quite a, quite a number of years. Uh, we've tried to help them through art, through education, um, and now we've kind of narrowed down our focus into making sure that lost boys have an opportunity to actually go back home. Uh, we sent James LaCroix, one of the lost boys, home uh, last year. He hadn't seen his mother in, I want to say, 20 years. So it's a pretty remarkable thing. So we want to send at least two to three lost boys home for a visit, whether that's Sudan or whether the families in Kenya, um, each year. Um, listen, all causes are good, no doubt about it. Um, and this is particularly a good cause. And I became involved because I read the book, What is the What? Um, which is extremely moving. Uh, it's about a lost boy in Atlanta. Um, and um, wanted to quote unquote do something. What I never anticipated or expected was um, the people who I got to meet through the foundation, the Lost Boys. And so I want to talk about three in particular who are my friends. And um, they're all wonderful people. But um, the three I want to talk about a little bit are Gabriel Wall, um, John Jarwell, who are both here tonight. And then um, James McQuash, who is another friend, and James can't do this because he's working. Um, all three of them um, have jobs. Um, James works two jobs while he tries to do his art. Um, Gabriel had been working for a labor contractor for Nissan and just got hired by Nissan a couple months ago. So he's full time at Nissan. Um, and John actually works um, for Metro in a law department. Um, you know, Gabriel, again, lost boy. Um, John um, was, he's an old Miss grad, was a boy soldier also in Africa, then an, an old Miss grad, and he works for us. And they all make pretty decent money, not great money, but pretty decent money. So you'd think they'd be, everything would be cool, everything's fine. But they send almost all their money back home to their families in Africa. It's remarkable. And so they basically live off of, I always tell them living off minimum wage, because they, they send so much to their 